A very good evening to you and a warm welcome to tonight's special edition of Breeding to Win, where we're focusing on the up-and-coming Empress Palace Ready to Run sale, which takes place this coming Sunday, the 3rd of November, at Bloodstock South Africa Complex at Gosforth Park. Tonight, we'll be highlighting the individual vendors with their respective gallops and drafts. And we'll start off in alphabetical order with Dr. Marianne Thompson's Ambient Stud. She's selling a beautifully bred son of Vercingetorix, who's half-brother to the stakes winner, Celtic Captain. Next up is Cornerstone Stud, and we hear from stud owner Anton Hook. The Cornerstone Stud will be offering four classy two-year-olds at November's Empress Palace ready to run sale in Germiston. Frozen Palace is lot number 88, a colt whose dam is a three-part sister to Horse of the Year and five-time Grade 1 winning Yard Arm, winner of the Queen's Plate, the Derby, and the Met. White Palace is lot number 129. The latter, whose dam is a three-part sister to East Cape champion Widow's Lamp, is out of a three-time winning half-sister to the smart Astral Athena, and this is the family of champion National Bay. Deputy of Love is lot number 29, is a filly by grade one sword dancer handicap winner Go Deputy, a son of outstanding stallion Deputy Minister, and himself a sire of, amongst others, Triple Crown winner Abba Sherry. The grey filly is out of the talented race mare Dover Beach, formerly trained by Michael Azzi, a five-time winner up to 1,800 metres, and her second dam is a former stakes winning two-year-old hard to get. Singspiel's Grade 1 Premier Stakes winner Patala Palace has made a superb start to his stud career, despite being represented by only two small crops, and he rates as one of South Africa's more promising stallions. The blue-blooded Patala Palace himself from the same female line as such outstanding size as Sadler's Wells and Nuriev, his trio includes Zampino, lot number 78, a three-parts brother to Grade 3 Pretty Polly Stakes winner Palace of Dreams, also by Patala Palace. Dusty Investments send a small but quality draft to the sale. They're strong in stallion power with the likes of Var, Futura and Water Winter. Jane Thomas's Far End Stud has a wonderful draft for this year's sale. She's a stalwart in preparing horses for the ready-to-run sales. Let's hear from Jane about her draft. I'm very excited about Far End's draft. I think it's the best draft I've ever had. I've really got something for everybody. We've got some exciting first season sires showing me a lot of speed, great actions. These include Coup de Gras, uh, showing lots of speed, flying the flag and Futura, great actions. 
legislate, really a lot of class. I have a few by some young sires that are really doing well, these young sires. We've got Pomodoro, Wiley Hall, Soft Boiling Rain, Three Flower Alleys, and the Versingetics Philly. I've got some superb KZN breads that will be really, really easy to buy. Um, and they qualify for all the KZN bread bonuses. I've got a few some by top sires, you know, a smart oratorio cult, some super vars, three elusive forts, a very nice master of my fate, and a lovely Kuari filly. I think my dynasty's the standout cult, and um, he's very nice indeed, and I've half sister to African warrior, who's by Coup de Gras and showing me loads in her work. Um, yeah, so we hope to see everyone up in Germiston. I'm in A and B block, and yeah, hope to see you there.
Fortune Racing has consigned two very nice tubs on the sale. They have a Flower Alley Colt and a Path Fork Philly. Let's hear it from Andrew who tells us more about them. Lot 36, uh, Flower Alley out of a Jet Master mare. He's got the most beautiful action. Uh, as you can see, he's very well bred. A brother to Platinum Class, our Emperor Noah, that won the first two starts. Most beautiful action horse, beautiful temperament. Uh, it, it gives you a feel like you could, you could probably start off by winning a 1200, and, and he really feels classy. Lot 116 is a path for Philly, sister to Royal Italian. She's a little bit the opposite. She's got quite a bit of speed. She'll probably win first time out. She's got far furlong speed and uh, probably going to go seven as well. And uh, early top, early, early. If you want a quick return, she's probably a Philly to go for. She's well bred. Well, as I say, Royal Italian is feature placed. And, and she's a very precocious Philly with a nice action. The beautiful Himalayan Arda in Hermanus once again sends out a quality draft for this year's sale. They have a Dynasty Colt, a Water Winter Philly, as well as Pomodora and Path for Colts. David will be looking forward to seeing you at the sales grounds to tell you more. Havisham Park are represented with eight two-year-olds at this year's sale, including a son of R and daughters by Black Manalouche and Coup de Gras.
Johan Loftus has just two entries on this year's sale, a very smart Futura Colt and a racy two-year-old by Duke of Marmalade. Alden Stud has consigned a very smart Var filly, a half-sister to Cat and the Moon, and the mayor has produced some talented performers. Peter van Skuur has a smart, master of my fate filly, aptly named Miss Elegance. The family has done extremely well for him in the past. Sandown Stud are represented by three striking individuals. James has a great breeding background and tremendous results. He brings some three promising prospects to the sales. Lot 11, the half-brother who is highly thought of, is a winner of two stakes placed, has not been out the money in six starts, will be going for all the features this season. Lot 20, a flashy chestnut coup de gras colt from a good family. The dam won eight and is the family of Brave Move. Lot 130 is a half-sister to one of the highest rated fillies in KwaZulu Natal in Miss Smarty Pants. Big, strong, athletic filly. The dam has had one runner and one winner. Sutendal Estate have just the one entry on this year's sale, a colt by champion freshman sire, captain of all, out of the family of Cherry on the Top. No doubt he'll be attracting lots of attention at this year's sale.
Spess Racing has just the one filly on this year's sale. She's by the son of Tappet, Coup de Gras, out of a very speedy mare. Stonehill Stud have a high quality draft on this year's sale. They're represented with the likes of Mumbo in Seattle, Dynasty and Trippy. Let's take a look at their draft. The pioneers in ready-to-run sales, Summerhill Stud has another quality draft for this year's sales. Mick Goss tells us more. The pioneers in ready-to-run sales, Summerhill Stud has another quality draft for this year's sales. Mick Goss tells us more. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity to talk to you about these horses. Um, the ready-to-run is very dear to our hearts. It was uh, founded at Summerhill more than 30 years ago. And so this is another chapter in, in, a, in a great story. I think we should just simply understand this, that there's a horse for everyone at the ready to run. It's always been a value sale. It serves all the spectrums of the market. Um, anybody who's gonna put their hand up there is going to know that depending on what their taste is like, what they're aiming for, there's always gonna be value in the market. Pound for pound, it's probably been the most prolific source of major race winners, millionaires, champions, etc., etc., of all the sales in the country. 
and uh, we, we must remember that when you buy at the ready to run, you're saving almost 100,000 in keep charges relative to sales in the earlier parts of the year. So there are those benefits apart from anything else. You talk about our draft, I think it's probably fair to say it's a deep draft, the whole draft, not just ours. I'm talking about the whole sale. Jane Thomas has gone to extraordinary lengths. I haven't seen um, the entries from the other areas yet, but I did see hers gallop. And uh, I think this sale is up to the level of the best sales of the past. Certainly we've had a couple of champion riders, former champion jockeys come down and, and sit on the horses, etc., And they're telling us exactly that this is a, as good a bunch as they've seen. But from our perspective, there are, there are siblings to three Group 1 winners in the sale. Uh, more than half the draft are relatives of black type uh, and major race horses. Uh, a lot of siblings of, to the horses that are running in the, in the Million Rand Empress Palace ready to run cup on the second. The first crops of two extraordinary race horses, uh, Act of War and Willow Magic in our particular draft, which we're especially pleased with uh, judging by their gallops. strikes the front 200 to go and Willow Magic is going all the way here. Willow Magic wins the Investec Dingons. Then comes Willow Magic to the outside. Look how he's travelling. Here comes Willow Magic hard held and Willow Magic has smashed them. There are no walking races. Uh, this thing's about racing. And there is a massive advantage in favor of a buyer who can use his observational powers to select a horse at the gallop rather than in the conventional way of walking a horse up and down in a stable yard. So I would say that there, there's, a, there's a, a leg up for anybody who has an intuitive eye in picking a decent horse on their instincts uh, and what they see on, of the gallop. And then of course, there are countless millionaires and champions that were sold at the ready to run for well under 100,000 Rand, uh, which illustrates my point about value. There are also expensive horses like the Agugus and the Hollywood Boulevards of the, of, of the world that went on to international fame that were expensive horses. So that's why I said they, they, they serve every end of the spectrum. No horse in that sale knows who his mother and father is in terms of pedigree. And I've often been fascinated by this subject. And many years ago, when he was an inspector of yearlings and the champion trainer of South Africa, I asked Mr. Terence Millard, who is one of the doyens of South African racing, what he thought was a good pedigree. And he said, you know, Mick, I've been in this game for 52 years, he had at that point, And I've been asking myself that question all that time. And he said, I've come to the conclusion that belongs to a good horse. And you'll find horses like Foveros and Jetmaster from the past who were 
uh, very modestly bred horses who became not only national champion racehorses but national champion stallions as well and they had nothing in their pedigrees to really advertise their virtues other than what they looked like as athletes and how they performed as athletes and that's there's a great old story of the ready to run that so many of the horses that have turned out to be great horses needn't necessarily have been what you'd call fashionably bred horses. The point is, once you can see that they can run, it doesn't matter who the father and the mother is. It's only a matter of how much you pay after that. So, message to the market, come and have a look for yourselves. It's all up on the screen at the moment. Go and have a look at the gallops. I thought there were some mesmerizing gallops on the day. There's a great selection of horses out there for everybody. And of course, you know we'll welcome you with open arms.
The last of the drafts that we'll be highlighting tonight is from for Mark Equine. The consignment boasts two King Barnes two-year-olds and a couple of Toreadors too. Make sure to pop by and view. Before we end tonight's show, there's one more thing we need to take care of, and that's the G-Fox Groom of the Month. Let's find out more about Colin Orson, our winning groom from Drakenstein Stud. The Breeding to Win team went to meet and present his wonderful G-Fox hamper to him. Colin Orson from Drakenstein Stud is our Groom of the Month, and it's lovely to be here this morning to present him with his prize, and hopefully we're going to have a nice chat to him as well. He's been nominated for many reasons. He's a very good groom here at Drakenstein, and he has, of course, been looking after the famous racehorse, O Susanna. Colin, congratulations. Thank you very much. We've got a hamper of clothing for you from G Fox. Thank you. And uh, we hope you will wear it uh, proudly, and very, very well done for winning this month's competition. Okay, thank you. I've heard all about you from your boss. You do a fantastic job here at Drakenstein. And you're very lucky to look after the great filly, oh, Susanna. Yes. She was quite difficult when she came in. She's quite grumpy yes, in the she stable. Was, she, was, she was difficult, um, um, but I got help from my father to out the handle the difficult horse. And um, as, as it went on, um, it got better. And do you live here at Drakenstein? Yes, I live here. Well, what a wonderful place to live. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful, yeah. And it's very exciting, you, you must be excited for when O Susanna gets in foal. Yes, yes. Something for you uh, to follow. I hope I'm going to be the one to be there when she's falling. Shadrick is Colin's father. He also works here at Drakenstein. He's very closely connected to the Stallions and in fact looks after Gold Standard, who's behind us, and Trippy as well. Shadrick, we've just given your son Colin our Groom of the Month prize. You must be very proud of him. He's doing a great job. Yes, I'm very proud. And you've been working with the horses many years yourself? Yes, yes. I'm working oh, well, for a very long time. Yes. And do you particularly like being involved with the stallions or any aspect of the farm? Yeah, I'm specifically um, um, by the stallion side. If I need to help on the other side. I'm and what is it like looking after Gold Standard? I see he likes to bite a bit. Yeah, no, it's just um, the other guys is out, the other boys, yes. And um, it's, it's a nice house to work with. Well, it's a wonderful farm, isn't it? A fantastic place to live. Yes, yes, fantastic. And lovely to have all your family here with you and, of course, Colin. Yeah, yeah, especially, yeah, family around. Well, we wish you all the best of luck and uh, well done to your son, Colin, again for winning our prize and uh, very well done to you as well. You're doing a top job. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Super to chat to Colin's father as well. It's lovely to have a family affair working here at Drakenstein. What a place to be working and they're both doing a fantastic job.
that's a wrap for this week's edition of Reading to Win. We look forward to seeing you out at the Empress Palace ready to run sale next Sunday, the 3rd of November. From myself and the rest of the Breeding to Win team, until next week, good night.